Both of these fighters are making their professional debut. Oh, I was wrong. He does In the blue corner at 126 pounds. He's 29 years old and fights for One Kicks Gym in Fresno, California. Carlos Baby Boy Hernandez. I apologize for the mistake. And in the red Bad corner. On my part. Weighing 121 and a half pounds, 22 years old, fighting for AKA in San Jose. It's going to be a good fight. Daniel Prodigy Gonzalez. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like uh, Daniel Gonzalez in the, in the red corner did some. Uh, type of cupping or something. Oh, cupping technique, huh? Nice. Uh, yeah, really you can cool. see all the, all on his back. Yeah, I noticed that too. That's huge with athletes right now. The Asian medicine? Yeah. Cupping or those like suction cup, or well, the cupping where they put like the flame in them. Yep. Nice shot landed by this is Carlos Hernandez. Is this Mikey Gonzalez's little brother? <laughs> Looks like it. My mistake if it isn't, but I mean, kind of looks like him. Man, these guys are, they're filling each other out, but they're exploding every time they they throw something. Yeah, 125 is so fidgety, man, like quick. Look at Ooh, that. Oh, nice like, teeth. He's Superman punch and he teeped to guard it. Look at that. I like this. Oh, caught the kick. Worried about the uh, response right there. Oh, he's someone. got his he's got his leg snaked in. Took he's his back. Him back. Is he gonna go for a slam here? A simple trip. Uh, he's got to get his hips under there. Oh no. He attempted attempted a suplex and then. Lost his footing. Oh, big shot landed. Now he's on the bottom of this exchange. Carlos on top. Carlos pressing uh, against the fence right now. See if he goes for a takedown. Daniel responding. Nice, good cross face, good pressure against the head. Trying to get some, some small hits in there. I don't know if he's going for wizard. He's got a hand on across the body. He should really work that wizard instead of having it across the whole body. Yeah. Wrist control by Carlos. Daniel, uh, he's kind of got like a his right arm. Could do something with that there. Ooh, got a low blow in that. He's gonna fight through it though. Oh, big shot landed by. Him. Gonzalez. Yeah, he gets that shot and he backs off. That's that's that uh, cage awareness right there and a little bit of taunting there in both parties. I think Carlos is in his zone right now. Definitely confident. Daniel needs to follow up. Those hit kicks. It look very accurate. It will help if you set them up. Oh, that was a big overhand. Yeah, big overhand. Oh. It's a one, two. Gonzalez lines a nice, nice jab. And he goes to the body. One, two. Carlos is agile. He got like nice and nimble on the feet. Yeah. Very elusive. Oh, we see the oh. cage Superman punch again. Just as elusive, confident. And that's going to frustrate a lot of fighters. You know, I don't know. I can't see it on Daniel's face. But that would be frustrating. Yeah. He's throwing a lot of power. Oh, nice little body shot. Hitting air. There we go. I like to, oh, low blow.
This is a good fight so far. I, I like the action. Carlos, I mean, this kid's elusive, man. He's moving. And these shots look so fast compared to all the other fights we've seen so far. Tonight. Oh, he tagged him. But it's always Tan Hernandez. Carlos does have a welt forming over the right side of his head. Could have been from the cage. Yeah, the re it's turning very red. Daniel. Oh, nice body kick. Like Daniel. Oh, he's enjoying himself. Oh, wow, these are those, those entertaining fights you hope for. Yeah, exactly. You know, I want to see uh, Carlos a little bit more movement because he's got to cut the cage off from Gonzalez. He has to. Yeah. But again, it's really hard doing it with the guy that's got that much footwork and he's so elusive. Going in and out. Yeah. Someone landed straight. Oh, right there, body lock against the cage. Let's see if he's able to get this takedown. Wow, look at that. Gonzalez has such good control. Wow, what an exciting first round. But Daniel Gonzalez is doing very good, and you can tell that he's loving being in there right now. Definitely having fun. He's taunting his opponent. He's he's been successful in whipping through a lot of these strikes. What do you uh what do you think uh Hernandez's team was telling him? Cut him off. That's gonna be the hardest part of this, but you, you can't you're not gonna land anything, you're gonna end up wasting energy, you're gonna frustrate yourself if you're throwing those hard bombs and you don't have a target. Yeah. You know? Or get dirty and push him on the cage. He's able to get his arms around him when he when he just goes in. Dirty boxing. Dirty boxing will win you the round. Open up some some nice uh, striking. But I think Daniel might be on the fence of this round. There you go. Lands a right, pushes in, gets an underhook. Oh, nice knee landed by Daniel. He's been able to showcase really good oh, wrestling defense. Nice. Let's see if well, nice one two landed by Gonzalez. Gonzalez is feeling very comfortable in the cage. Like he's got no worries in there. He's having a good time. Oh, uh, nice leg kick landed by Gonzalez. Yep. Hernandez hasn't really been been able to get off on um, anything that he's thrown. He hasn't been able to hit any combinations. Um, his clinch work is his best bet. He's had some success in that so far. But, you know, I, you know, I can't even say that because Gonzalez has kind of nullified him on everything he's done. But he can get his arms around him. Get close enough, close the distance, get some dirty boxing in there. That'll open up a hole for a strike and then go back to dirty boxing. Rotate through that. Yeah, that's true. Or some leg kicks, possibly. We haven't seen... Uh, I've seen I've seen Hernandez try a couple of times, but Gonzalez is just so quick to move and change position that, you know, he, he hasn't been able to land anything. got to be frustrating fighting a guy that you can't hit. That is frustrating. Oh, there he goes. He landed in one of those leg kicks that we're talking about. Yeah, again, a guy this mobile, man. I mean, you got to stop slow him. him down, go for those leg kicks. Or if you get him down to the mat, start pounding that leg. There you go. Oh, the leg kick. And he didn't check any of those last three. So you could see a small little, well, his leg's a little red. A little red, yeah. But he's still not checking him. Gonzalez got good pressure on the cage. Hernandez trying to work around and get that underhook. Hernandez knows kind of red. He might have taken a shot. Oh, a nice elbow, elbow right by Gonzalez. He's still fighting for that underhook. And there you go. He starts through one shot to that leg. Oh, another nice elbow by Gonzalez. to the midsection. 
Gonzalez has great pressure on Hernandez. Another knee the oh, working that clinch. another knee. Gonzalez looking and feeling comfortable. Yep. This kid's he's pretty much writing his name all over this fight, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. And he's throwing showmanship in there, like some some of that like fabulous Muay Thai uh, <laughs> showmanship by like fighters yeah. like Saint Chai. Oh yeah. Oh, well, look at that. No, it was unorthodox. Effective. Kind of like a little Taekwondo, you know, inside outside kick. A one two Hop again. Baba. One two leg kick. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. But again, Gonzalez moves so quickly that it just glanced right by his face. Yep. Oh, we'll see. It looked Gonzalez. like he caught a lot of glove and twine. Oh. Kind of slowing down. Man, Gonzalez like has got so quick of hands. Good habit as well. That one, too, slipped, even though no shot was thrown. It's a good habit to have. Oh, Gonzalez returning the kicks now. Elusive. See, I mean... Hernandez is receiving, but you can't afford to move away that quickly. When you have your opponents back against the fence, that's your best bet. If you're yep. going to strike, if you're going to stand here and try to bang with them, your best bet is once he's near there, you got to kind of recompose yourself and not take that step back so far. Oh! Here we go. Hernandez showing that he's not phased. But I'd have to give that last two rounds to uh, Gonzalez. I would agree. All right, looks like we're getting close to this third round. Oh, yes, third round coming up. And these guys are quick, man. Let's see. Right now, we got Carlos Hernandez, who is in my books down two Looks like they're cleaning a little bit of water or something off the mat. I wonder what he's going to do to reassess this situation. What is he going to do? Two, two rounds down. I mean, he's got He's just got to go in there and throw at this point. I mean, there, it doesn't look like he wants to go on the ground. Well, he wants to, but he hasn't been able to successfully get him down. So he's just got to go for broke, and hopefully he got that puncher's chance. There you go, that overhand landed on something. Didn't get flushed right through, but it landed on something. It's a good sign. That's what's hard about those inside leg kicks. You don't know if you're going to... Catch him with that low, with that low blow. It's obviously not on purpose, but it's a very small target mm -hmm. to be able to hit that inside thigh without hitting anything else. Low blood spouting from the nose, Fernandez. Looks like they're both uh, trying to throw these kicks out there now. Gonzalez returns. Some some vengeance in those. What would you do if you're uh, Hernandez right now? Honestly, I'd probably be frustrated. Me personally, I would be frustrated. And I'd probably just barge forth, trying to cut off my opponent. Probably eat one to give two. That's a horrible <laughs> idea, though. Nobody at home listen to me. Uh, no, nah, I'd do the same thing. <laughs> It's just, you know, you're three rounds in it. The nerves are practically gone right now because you've already done two rounds of this. Nice body shot landed by Hernandez. Or bring him to the fence again. Take some dirty, some dirty boxing. Maybe go for 
something unpredictable. Leg lock standing, like drop down, <laughs> go for heel hook. It worked on uh, Anderson oh, nice. Silva. <laughs> was, yeah. Long time ago. Right there, see, opponent against the cage. You got to live in that moment right there. Oh! He, he that stopped Hernandez. Right He's rocked. It looks like Gonzalez was able to land on Hernandez when he had his mouth open. Yeah. The way that, that was. Hernandez is a tough dude. Yeah, Gonzalez isn't going for the finish. I, if I were Gonzalez, I'd, I mean, right now the blood is on the mat. It's in the water. You can, you can start taking your time coming forward, take advantage of that. He's not getting a response when he throws that jab. Go in there, jab, jab, and see how far it goes. See, this is what Hernandez should have been doing the entire time. That last leg kick he threw, he should have been throwing those. Harassing him. He would have cut his mobility off within the first or second round. Yep. Oh, there we go. Hernandez is throwing and landing. He's not checking though. Right now, here's it's the aggression, the frustration's coming. He's probably uh, not getting hurt that bad from these hits. Yeah. He's willing to walk through right now. He's going forward. He's kind of doing what we said that was probably the worst idea, was just bite down and go. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it pays off. Man, Gonzalez's footwork, man, is, is really good. It's on point, it is. Confident. Well placed. Oh. Good timing. Oh, both of them got rocked a bit. Both received something. Now, this is a good final round for these guys. This what, is a, a, what a great really, fight. Yeah, this is a good fight. Oh, oh wow. wow. Big shot landed by Gonzalez. And this boy still bouncing around the cage. Hernandez is a tough dude. You know, these ladder guys can take a, take a beating. Like their cardio is up there. Yep. You know? Because when you start getting beat on, that's when your cardio starts dropping. Oh, wow. Nice jab landed by Gonzalez. And look at Hernandez. is stalking. This is what he should have been doing the entire time. See how he's cutting off the wow. cage? Right there. He knows it's coming. Might as well take the cage. Take the cage, it's coming. Keep your hands up, take the cage. There you go. Oh, he wanted to stand oh, and Look bang. at these warriors. Yes. Look at that, he's like, let's go. Gonzalez said, let's stand and bang. Carlos looked back and said, all right, let's do it. What a great fight. Let's give it up for both of these fighters. That was, that was a fight, that a was a good fight. Look at that heart. Last I, 10 seconds, give it up, leave it in there. Fight of the night. Uh, I would say that was fun tonight, definitely. So but, I mean, we got a few more on the card, but that, that's got my nomination for it. Hard tech, technician, like. Damn, that was a good fight. It was as long as Paradise, and I had to shave it today. Shit. I was pissed. So now I'm going to grow fucking. It's, it's growing. It's my wife. I like, I Ladies and gentlemen, you. there's a <laughs> copious <laughs> amount of blood in this ring. How about a big round of applause for these two fighters? having just fought 15 to 15 minutes. The winner, by unanimous decision, all three judges scored the fight 30-27 in favor of the winner. In the red corner, Daniel Prodigy Gonzalez. I can't argue his nickname. His footwork was amazing. I, I, Stuff that's hard to see, like on the on yeah, the stickers. I got you, I got you.